right, what we got on the Tinker Desk today is a more knife mod. Uh, this here is a blade retention sling. Simple. Put it on there. Tension it up, baby. There it is. Blade tensioned. Good to go. All right, video over. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so how I, uh, how I came up with this is I purchased some, uh, these are 3 8 by 1 inch drilled ferrocerium rod. Um, you know, toggle baby, right? And then I use the DNA knot. Uh, I forget the, the original name for it, but they call it DNA because, you know, it looks like a helix. All right, so... Um, the reason I like this one is when you undo it, all right, simple, super simple, um, it stays, right? So you can cut off a little bit, use it to use you use it to start your fire, right? You have your uh, um, sharpened spine on your mower knife. Hold this bad boy like that, give her a go. See how you can really get a purchase on it. Give that bad boy a strike. We're not going to strike this one because it's unstriked. We'll just leave it the way it is. This is my bench knife. Uh, I have it hanging on something, so this is a little, a little uh, stretched out. The I seen this real simple to fix. You just hit this with a heat gun, and she sucks right back in. Super simple. Uh, I mean, I know everybody knows about more knives. If you're watching this, you already know that. Uh, uh, Dollar for dollar, pound for pound. Um, more knife has really got that uh, got that number down. Um, when I when I discovered more knife, obviously it was on YouTube, and uh, I kind of came obsessed. And uh, since then, I've I've got quite the collection. Um, but we'll talk about my more knife collection later on a later video. Uh, but today we're talking about this this little guy here, this little DNA guy. So DNA strains are super simple, right? Um, I guess since this is only a few knots, we can we can go all out, okay? So since there's only four knots, we can do this real quick, all right? So this first one is where where uh, where we talk about it, okay? Uh, so you have your you know foot and a half, two feet of uh, of paracord. Get your toggle on there. Put the toggle on, right? Make these even, all right? So you got a nice deal. Uh, find out about where you want it. Eh, we want it about that long, give or take, right? So we bring these over. I'm going to make them a little shorter, okay? And then, so now, the way it sits is now we have our two, our two bits here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to bring one side over. Okay, and hold it. Right, so you got one loop over top. Okay, then you take this other strand, you bring it down. Right, so we want that over and around, which is going to create this loop on this side. We're going to bring this that that end over and through that guy there. Okay, so this first one you gotta you gotta get pretty even. Right, so you want to look at it at this point. These strands, it helps to have them pretty even when at this point, because you can adjust it now, all right? And also, too, some of the other things that I've done, I've actually attached stuff to these two loops, like with this here. So that's what that is. So that's attached. This ferroserum rod is uh, one of those loops. So this is the other one, and that's that one, and that's that one, okay? These two guys, those top loops that we had. Uh, I don't know. I just thought that that was cool, right? So, this is one constant. Well, this is one continuous strain. So, just tinkering with it. All right. So here we go. So we got that first one done. So same thing. So what you do is you bring this over, right? Over, behind, and through. All right. When you tighten it up, you know you got to fiddle with it just a little bit. You know, uh, you know, police your knot here, and then just keep on going with it. And the, the thing about this knot is you'll see it twisting, right? Don't fight it. Because <laughs> that's how you get the, the helix, right? So, yeah. Um, a uh, little 
survival uh, fire fire starting uh, yeah see it's too short for me to do another one so this one's just gonna have some long fingers right and this is the survival cord it's got uh, it's got wick in it so there you go yeah that's uh always uh always fun tinkering around with this type of stuff um you know when it comes in handy it comes in handy um and it looks kind of cool especially against like a uh, like a black mora right like that looks pretty nifty i mean that's that's sharp all right like uh yeah and it keeps your blade in there uh not saying that um the 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 stock sheaths for the Moras aren't good because they are. Um, I mean, simple example. I mean, I've been carrying this one for a year and a half now. Uh, work, you know, and I don't do, uh, I'm not a computer work kind of guy. This, uh, this knife obviously is rubbed up against a lot of stuff, man. Um, I've used it for a hammer. I've used it as a pry bar. I did the, in the, um, in the vinegar, te you know, in the vinegar, change the look of the blade thing. Uh, most of my more knives are carbon, uh, only because I'm not really good at sharpening blades. Uh, or actually, I shouldn't say not good at it. I don't want to spend two hours sharpening a blade when uh, made out of stainless steel. When I can sharpen this one pretty quick and get her razor uh, razor going. A lot of times with this work, this work one. This tool here, um, I usually don't sharpen it super, super, super duper sharp because, uh, um, you know, it doesn't need to be that way. Uh, in actuality, I was actually thinking about taking a tip off or something and turning, you know, having it as a pry bar and a blade. <laughs> crazy, uh, crazy gorilla. Um, so, yeah, everybody knows that these uh, $11 more knives are uh, way exceed expectation worth every single penny uh, dollar for dollar pound for pound this is where the party's at all right thanks